Well, I'm on the facts of Mars. And this is somewhat of a local controversy, but it shows how uh, bad things have gone as far as uh, understanding basic morals in our society. So he John us see a professor is at the center of the controversy regarding the presentation slide about transgender individuals you reportedly used in class. The slide posted and shared on social media was called Female or She Male, Can You Tell? and featured 16 photos of women. Sociology professor David Sorbello then allegedly asked students to label which women on screen were trans women. Well, guys, I've been over this before. There's, there's some physical characteristics that I can't really change it with, and, uh, bone length and such. Jasmine Coy. Assuming John C. O. Sophomore, soon Senator, member of the Diversity Committee, which makes his commie liberal, posted the phone to Twitter and Facebook. It was originally taken by Julian Sternberg, who was in the sociology class the exercise took place. Point of this incident is concerning for a number of reasons. As a woman of color, I construed it as a teacher using identity as punchline, but she planned. And I thought, of course, this is objectifying, objectifying or using it as someone as an object of humor. Well, not necessarily. Tony said that allegedly, so no, so you stuff the slide to help students so they didn't get too drunk and go home with the wrong one. Tony said this only further perpetuates transparent. Well, I'm sorry, but I won't comment. Go home with the wrong one. I'll tell you that much. If you're a heterosexual and you find out this is actually a guy, you're going to be pissed. Sorry, that's the way it is. Meaning someone who's trans women or transgender individuals and later when we find out the person does didn't have the biological components that are expected to hang in some case seriously injured or lethally injured on the other individual. So really this guy is trying to prevent trouble rather than cause it. Lena Dur Dermott is a transgender woman. No, this is a guy. Leanna, Lee Leanna, okay, this is a guy, and sophomore at Sue John Seale, he said the experiment and the term used are both offensive, too bad, it's an extremely derogatory term because it has been used in so many situations from its cisgender people trying to be offensive to transgender people. It's really a bad slur. That was my fault. I knew that was going to happen, by the way. Student government will be taking decisive action just yet again, Coy said, but she hopes President Denise Battles and the administrators will then mandate sensitivity training of some kind. You can shove your sensitivity training where the moon doesn't shine. I said where the moon doesn't shine. Students shouldn't have to bother with the burden of doing intellectual labor of explaining different topics that are pertinent to their identities as educators. Unbelievable. Whatever happened to freedom of speech in America? You see, uh, Jasmine Coy, you hate freedom. You hate representative government. You hate freedom of speech. And you hate the First Amendment. 
She says, as, I, as a woman of color, I construed as a teacher using identity as punchline. Well, you, first of all, that's racist, using your race as... Uh, an excuse here. So you are a racist, and I thought, of course, this course is objectifying when you're using someone's object of humor. I don't know, was anybody laughing? Unbelievable. I'm glad this guy is doing it. I've done videos on YouTube about this. I see the trans all the time. It's very simple. There's two character... There's two... Several characteristics. Physical characteristics that they can't change. Hip width, shoulder width, height. Uh, bone size. You look at those and you can pretty much tell... You know, good luck, but you can pretty much tell whether that's a natural woman or a transgender woman. I don't concern women, I agree with Jim Quinn, they are males. Biologically, if you're a male, you're a male. I'm going to give you a little truism here. It is nature that decides what our gender role is. If you're born X, Y, you're born a male. If you're born X, X, you are a woman. You are, you are a female. That's all there is to know. There's nothing more to know. In the subject, there are some variations, obviously. But 99% of the cases, uh... There are just, uh, some biological problems that happen down there, unfortunately. There's no denying it. There are such things as hermaphrodites, it's true. But for most people, if you're born a male, you got, you know what down there, and if you're born a female, you have no, you know what down there, and that's it. That's all there is to know. You don't have the right to go changing into something that you're not, as far as I'm concerned. I would ban the operation altogether. And healthy individuals would. Not with somebody who needs something fixed that they should screw it up, but under normal circumstances, I would ban it if they're up to me. Sorry, that's the way I see it. Liberalism is a mental disorder. Thanks for watching. And now, folks, my story is ended. I think it is time I should quit. If any of you feel offended, stick your head in a barrel of shaving cream. Be nice and clean. Shave every day and you'll always look keen.